Welcome! Today we're going to talk about this beautiful 2020 Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus. Now uh, they just call it their uh, Model 3 Rear Wheel Drive <laughs> in 2023, but previously it was called the Standard Range Plus, which is more of the entry level uh, form of the Model 3. You have the Model 3 Long Range, which usually uh, for a little while was available in rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, but now the Long Range is all wheel drive only, and then the Model 3 Performance. But entry level is relative, uh, you know, for the price point of a Model 3, even the Standard Range Plus, and for the content you get is very comparable to like a luxury vehicle like a BMW 3 Series, Mercedes-Benz C-Class, or our own product, the Infiniti Q50. Uh, and I'm a big fan of the product. Uh, we've had hundreds of Teslas over the years at Infiniti of Tacoma. And after being exposed to Teslas for so long at the store, driving them, experiencing the autopilot, the cool software, there's so many cool things about it. I ended up buying one myself right about a year ago. I bought one in August last year. I have a 2019 Standard Range Plus, so very similar to this. Mine's a year older. This one actually has a few extra items that they added um, over the past year uh, since mine was built that you know I don't have, so a little jealous in those circumstances, but I'll try to keep this short, but man, I could really go on for hours. <laughs> There's just so much to talk about with this vehicle. It's so different than any other vehicle on the road and there's so many cool things and stuff to talk about. But unfortunately, I don't have time to do it on this one. But if you wanna visit our YouTube page, I have dozens of videos about various Tesla products that we've had. Um, you know, obviously there might be you know plenty of information on brand new Teslas, but when you're looking for older uh, used Teslas, maybe uh, a little bit, uh, it's a little bit harder to find uh, the info that you're looking for. So going to this one, this is a clean Carfax vehicle. How many miles it has? It has uh, 16,380 miles, so pretty low mileage for 2020 being August, almost August of 2023. Uh, the Standard Range Plus is a rear wheel drive. Uh, the fully charged range of the Standard Range Plus in 2020 is about 250 miles. Performance is excellent, zero to 60, a little over five seconds. Top speed, 140 miles an hour. So even though, relatively speaking, this is the slowest <laughs> of all Teslas, it's still faster than many of the vehicles on the road. Mine is very quick. Uh, obviously, it's fun to drive faster Teslas, but like I said, this gives you sports car level performance. Um, and as far as efficiency goes, uh, the rear wheel drive or standard range plus uh, version of the Tesla Model 3 is one of the most efficient uh, because of uh, how light it is. Uh, the dual motor has a heavier battery. Um, so like for instance, uh, I use my Tesla for commuting. Um, you know, I rarely drive more than 50, 60 miles a day. So, you know, 240, 220, 250 mile fully charged range is more than enough. We have other vehicles, we have a van and stuff if we want to do a road trip on. So the thing is, if you have a big giant battery pack and you're driving around with that body pack and you're never fully charging it, never using all that capacity, you're losing efficiency because you're, you know, carrying around all that extra weight that you're never going to use in the form of a larger battery. So if you're going to use this more for commuting, uh, the Standard Range Plus is a little bit lighter with that smaller battery pack making it more efficient and uh, it's only rear wheel drive. So having another electric motor in the front, that also adds weight and does sap a little bit more energy versus just one electric motor. So that's a reason why the rear wheel drive Model 3 or the Standard Range Plus is considered to be the most efficient of all the Tesla products. Obviously if you need all wheel drive, uh, that's one thing. And then uh, on the occasions that you do want a road trip, even with a standard range plus like this, it is more than possible because you have Tesla's amazing supercharging network. Uh, you have all these superchargers pretty much all over the place. They have one of the biggest charging networks in the world. That's why all these people are jumping on board, making deals with Tesla, having access to their chargers, switching over to their charging standard. Kind of reminds me of like the VHS Betamax wars back in the day. And it looks like Tesla's charging standard is going to be like VHS. On top of that, Tesla has an amazing trip planner. So right now we're, you know, 73%, we're fairly charged. But if I want to go to Spokane, I'm not going to have enough juice to make it to Spokane on one charge. Oh, I'm spelling Spokane wrong. But Tesla's trip planner is very cool. And um, it's more complex than most of the other. I don't th really think any other EV has a trips planner. It, it looks like uh, outside temperature, tire pressure, uh, ambient temperature, elevation. So it plans your whole trip and it tells me where I need to stop to charge. I'll charge in Clean Elm. I'll arrive with 15%. I'll charge for 45 minutes. I'll make another stop to charge for a little bit. Then I'll make it to my destination. So you can see it is possible to road trip in a vehicle like this. 
and Spokane's a long drive. Honestly, after driving for a couple hours, I wouldn't mind getting out for a half hour or whatever to maybe get a cup of coffee, get a little fresh air, take the dog for a walk. You know, obviously, you know, having to stop along the way, you're not gonna make it as fast uh, there as a gas car, but if you're using this to commute and just, you know, on an occasional road trip, sometimes, you know, it's fun to stop at the supercharger. I don't know why. <laughs> I have fun there. All right, so that's the trip planner. Uh, you have this amazing, uh, you know, uh, map. You can also put an illustrated version of the map on there as well. Premium connectivity gives you these uh, Google Maps of uh, live traffic updates. Also of the premium connectivity, it's not bad, 10 bucks a month, you can stream Netflix, Hulu, and Disney Plus. YouTube, you can't do it you know, while you're driving, but when you have it parked, you can stream this stuff. It does let you do the karaoke while you're driving, which is pretty fun. You also have video games. Then you have the toy box. One thing that I'm a little bit jealous of is my car doesn't have the boom box feature. <laughs> you can actually, you can play ambient music through the horn. Uh, you can, like uh, the current media that's playing, I can play it through the horn. Uh, rather than me tell you, let me put this camera outside and I'll play with it a little bit. And you can, we'll have a little bit of fun here. <laughs> hey you, who are you looking at? See, you can also talk to your car too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See? Like I said, I could literally spend an hour going over all this stuff in the car, and I've even scratched the surface. Maybe I'll turn this video into a deep dive and really make it an hour, for those of you who really want to do a deep dive. All right, uh, what else can we talk about? All right, so a lot of people complain about, oh, you know, you have to swipe through the screen to, you know, change your windshield wipers and stuff like that. To change the heat, you have to swipe through all these screens and stuff, which isn't horrible. It's like using a tablet, but you know what? Tesla has like 160 different voice commands. Uh, so let's uh, let's play with it a little bit. So for instance, if you wanna put your windshield wipers on, you don't need to put your windshield wipers on through the screen, you can just use voice command. Windshield wipers on one. Windshield wipers off. That's not just it. Rear defroster on. Heated seats on. And then you can also uh, uh, control the climate, make it warmer. Make it warmer. Every time you say make it warmer, warmer, it'll keep on raising the temperature by three degrees. Make it cooler. And it will lower it by three degrees. You have a really nice uh, backup camera as well. Great visibility. And then the over there updates. Every month, Tesla is constantly updating it so the display is improving. They're adding features, they're adding games. One cool update was a blind spot camera. You put your turn signal on, then you have a blind spot camera. Pretty amazing stuff. All right, like I see. <laughs> uh, I, I could probably go for an hour. Uh, you have these big glass roof panels to allow lots of natural ambient light inside. And if it gets a little toasty, yeah, Tesla has these real uh, nice inserts that go right in here to help cool things down. Uh, but also, if you're worried about your Tesla getting too hot or cold, you have the amazing Tesla mobile app right here. Look at this, on my phone, um, you can preheat the vehicle, you can cool the vehicle. Uh, so if it's completely, in the wintertime, it's completely frozen, you can defrost it right from your phone. Um, you can see where the vehicle is located, so maybe you're at a big mall parking lot, you can't find it. Also, when my spouse is driving it or I'm driving it, she can see where I am. She can even see what song I'm listening to. <laughs> maybe a little bit too information for some people. Uh, it tells you the uh, current uh, specs and warranty on it. All this uh, information in the app, what features it has. So uh, the basic warranty is good till uh, December of 2023. The battery and drive unit warranty is good till December 30th, 2027, 100,000 miles. A lot of coverage there. Um, you have all the controls and stuff. You can unlock the vehicle. You can remotely start it. So even if you have someone, a friend who's near your car, you can unlock it and remotely start it from anywhere in the world. You have an internet connection. Uh, service. You do all your service through the Tesla app. Um, service is pretty, uh, pretty uh, cost effective as well. They don't gouge you for wiper blades and with mobile service a lot of times when I get my Tesla service they'll come to my work I'll just 
talks them through the app. They have, they'll get access to the vehicle. I don't have to unlock it for them, give them a key. They'll put on the wiper blades. They'll put in a cabin filter and then they'll just bill me through my app. Um, and picking up a car at Tesla, you can pay for it and you just go to the parking lot and unlock your vehicle over your phone. And if you have a key card or a key, they'll lock it inside the vehicle. Uh, so you don't even have to go into the service department and deal with all that stuff to pay for a vehicle and wait in line. Which now after being exposed to service, when I have to you know pick up other vehicles at other stores that we have getting serviced or warranty work, I was at a European dealership and I think I waited like 20 minutes or a half hour just to pay for a vehicle and pick it up. A lot quicker at Tesla. <laughs> All right, really a nice color combination and uh, red on uh, this uh, black interior. The Model 3 is a really nice looking vehicle. Uh, it's kind of understated, but it's really kind of grown on me. I love the lines and look at the Tesla Model 3. Since there's no engine here, we have the frunk, uh, which gives you more space. It's also a safety feature. You have a crumple zone that's 60% larger than a regular car because you have no engine here. So you have all that space to absorb uh, crash energy and a frontal collision. The Model 3, in fact, is one of the safest vehicles on the road. When the NHTSA uh, tested the Model 3, it uh, was scored the safest vehicle by every metric they have. So the lowest probability of injury in a vehicle accident out of any other vehicle on the road right now is the Model 3. Don't take my word for it. You can do some research and find out yourself. So, uh, you know, it's one of the coolest cars in the world, one of the most technologically advanced, and it's also one of the safest. A lot of perks to being a Tesla owner. And then normally uh, you'd have a gas tank or an exhaust system here, but now you have more storage. So you have more interior space and more storage than a comparable compact sedan with a gasoline engine. Well, there you have it. One beautiful example of a Model 3. <laughs> we didn't go an hour this time, but I did go over a lot on this product. Thanks so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Hopefully see you soon and have a wonderful day.